What's up, everybody? It's Mr. Wee X Kicks, and this is going to be the final trailer of the new Antebellum movie, uh, the new movie starring uh, Janelle Monet. Now, if you guys do not know, we are in a pandemic, of course, everyone does know that, but this has given us a kind of a different in respect as far as how we're going to be viewing movies from kind of now on, kind of with this um, deadly virus out. A lot of movies that we um, were anticipating have been pushed back to either next year or a lot of them have been going on demand, kind of like this one. This is going to be the latest movie to kind of be going on demand. Um, so this movie actually was scheduled for an April release, but that's kind of when the problem of the pandemic kind of started. So now they are actually just releasing this on September 18th at home. Um, I'm kind of was excited to see it now. I did a I did a first trailer reaction for this a while ago. Now I was kind of I don't know I'm kind of feeling mixed reviews about it because to be honest with you I'm tired of slave movies. I am I mean slavery is a part of history. It's part of my history being an African American, but I'm tired of seeing it. <laughs> like every twelve years of slave, uh, the Harriet Tubman movie. Um, there there have been so many the Nat Turner movie. There have been so many different movies about slavery and after a while you just get tired of seeing the same thing now the one thing i will say about this movie it is kind of involved in slavery but at the same time it, something happens in this movie where she's in the present like modern day times and then she goes back to slave time so i don't know how this time jump works or how it kind of that's kind of the interesting thing that kind of doesn't make it like an, a like a, a run-of-the-mill old slavery movie but like it does bring an interesting concept if the concept is what I, the way I think it is. If, like, what would you do it, like, at 2020 or 2019 and you get, like, time portal back to, you know, the, the 1600s where you were a slave? Like, like you know, how would you, or excuse me, the 1800s where you were a slave, like, how would you process that mentally? Like, you know, I'm like, I was just in 2020 and now I'm back here, so... I think that's the general sense of that they're going with this trailer. Um, Jordan Peele is producing it, so it it does give me a very us slash get out vibe. So those are kind of good um aspects and features of this trailer. But this is going to be the final trailer. Um, Janelle Monae is to me one of a she's a talented singer and she's a very good actress. Um, so let's get into this trailer. And maybe we can get a little more um just of what this kind of movie is about instead of me just rambling on. Uh, kind of kind of thinking of what it could be about. Let's see. <gasps> there she is. Guess what? Daddy is going to get you dressed for school today. <gasps> we are descendants of the gods. This land was always ours. But we must never relent. We're nowhere and everywhere. You're from Virginia, right? I can tell. You're special. We are the future. You. You're not like the others. Only thing that sucks about that was it really didn't give us a lot of detail on what kind of the plot is it's kind of basically what i was saying whereas it's like she's in the future and somehow i mean she's in the present and then somehow she goes 
back to the 1800s and you can kind of see when she was in the 1800s like on the on the on the field when she saw the plane and disappeared everyone else saw it so i mean like so i can't i can call this a stereotypical slave movie but at the same time you can't because it does have that kind of twist of get out and us kind of you know appeal appeal to it kind of how like editing and kind of the creepy kind of onslaught of the little girl in the hallway giving the very shining vibes so like i don't know if this is gonna be like a thriller or a horror movie or a suspense so it kind of gives you that like damn i kind of need to watch this movie just to see what it's about and uh, if i'm not mistaken i think this is janelle monet's first starring role i mean she's been in a couple of good movies um throughout the years um, she's been in a couple different um movies throughout the years but this is going to be her first kind of uh, uh, starring role by herself as as the main lead. So to me, she's she's a really like I said, talented singer and a great actress. She to me, she has like you know, I actually and I met her once before. She's actually a really nice lady too. Very short, like she's a small little thing and very and very pretty. Um, but but this is going to be like I said, her 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 you know her first starring role by herself. Uh, without you know any other leading person in them in the role so i'm kind of excited for her but at the same time i'm kind of sad for her because you know everyone wants your big first movie to be a huge blockbuster a huge hit and it sucks that it's during a pandemic where it actually never came on the theater so we can actually see her put up those big normal those big numbers you know and it is like you see a predominantly black cast and the black lead so you always kind of want to see them especially uh women of color get their just do you know and it kind of sucks that the movie came out during a pandemic where it can't get its full shine like you probably might think it would have but i think it's rated r so even if it was came out it i don't know i don't think it would have did high numbers like like get out or us just because i don't know i i i couldn't see this doing like 80 million dollars at the box of opening week i just i just couldn't i could see it probably done more than like the 2015 million maybe a little more it just depends but it sucks that we can't really even go there to find out so but but i'm intrigued like i said i'm tired of slave movies but at the same time this is putting a different spin on the slave kind of genre like what would you do if if it is the way i'm saying it or if it is the way that i'm thinking about it what would you do if you're in the basic era of we are now and then you get end up in the 1800s like back being a slave like you know, we always say as a as a as a culture, like, oh, that would never be me, or I would have killed him. I did this, and but now you're there. What are you gonna do? So, like I said, it it, it puts me in a different mindset of this isn't your average run of the mill twelve year slave uh, type of of movie because it's different because you you know the progress that we've gone through at African Americans, even though we're still fighting for a lot of justice as as you all do know, but it's certainly not <laughs> we're certainly now no uh plantation field so uh it's gonna be interesting if if the dynamic is the way what i think it is so but, with that said if you guys like movie reviews uh sneak reviews video game reviews think about subscribing to the channel um if you do like instagram follow me on instagram mr beeman 13 uh and as always guys give me a like if you like what you saw and until next time uh, drop those comments and let me know what you guys think about this trailer. What do you think of jo Janelle Monet as an actress? I like I said, she's probably a, to me she's a very good actress, and I think this is going to be a really good breakout role for her. Um, drop those comments, let me know what you guys thought about this trailer, and till next time, Mr. Movie X is out. I'll be back.